the rider operates the throttle, producing torque. This torque is essentially produced solely from engine combustion. However, total engine output, or composite torque, is actually a combination of this combustion torque plus the inertial torque produced by the rotation of the crankshaft. Inertial torque is unlike combustion torque. Inertial torque is resulting from the rotation of the crankshaft. Combustion torque can be operated by the rider through the throttle, but inertial torque grows larger in proportion to the speed of the crankshaft rotation, and thus prevents linear throttle action from being achieved. As you can see, this is due to the crank moving the fastest at top and bottom dead center, and the slowest at 90 degrees and 270 degrees. this graph. The rider wants combustion torque, but because of the addition of inertial torque, which cannot be controlled, the result is something disordered, a composite torque unlike combustion torque. The solution to this is found in the cross-plane crankshaft. By differing the adjacent crank's rotations by 90 degrees, inertial torque fluctuation is eliminated. As you can see, inertial torque is almost completely eliminated, and the combustion torque sought by the rider is almost perfectly matched by the composite torque of the engine. In other words, the rider is able to achieve linear power delivery and traction through the operation of the throttle. With the exception of a few racing machines, no commercially available motorcycle has offered an inline four-cylinder engine with a cross-plane crankshaft. This new dimension in linear throttle action brought about through Yamaha technology is going to shift the entire paradigm of the super sports motorcycle world.